Welcome again to another collection video. We're on our way back to Charlotte this morning, and I know what you're thinking. Why are you going to go spend more money when you just spent so much money at Game Exchange? You are correct, very astute of you. I'm going to try and not spend that much money, but the good news is at the Video Game World store, because it's actually like a franchise, because there's a bunch of them, um, I have a good bit of trading credit, so I'm gonna go see if I can find something cool that I can not spend actual, like, physical money on. And also, they just opened up a new store in just south of Charlotte, in, what was the, the mall called? Carolina Place Mall, I believe that's what it's called. There's another store there, so we're gonna go check it out, see what they got, go around to all our other stores up here, see if there's anything we can find that might be fun to buy. Anyway, let's go. We have arrived in Charlotte. We are at the grid and we're gonna go see if we can find something. My sister has tasked me with finding her a Wii. That's not too expensive. So let's go see what we can find. So we just left the grid, the first stop on our Charlotte journey, and I already did what I said I wasn't gonna do. I already spent real money. So, yay. We're up moving on to the Carolina Place Mall now. Uh, next video game world, or the newest video game world store, we're gonna go see what they got and see what else is at that mall, because we've never been there before. I've never, have you ever been to that mall before? Nope. Me neither. So let's go see what it's all about. So we just finished up at the Carolina Place Mall and God, today is turning into a let's add a bunch of cheap stuff to the collection. We're on our way to Concord Mills now and then we're gonna grab dinner and finish up in the Huntersville Video Game World. And we'll see if they actually have what, I, what I'm after and wanting to spend that credit on. Alrighty then, let's go. Mills, kind of a bust. Not that they didn't have anything good, just none of them wanted to spend money on. Uh, we're on our way now up to Huntersville. Uh, we're gonna grab dinner at a pizza place that's up there. We had it last time, it was really good. And then we will hit that last video game world and we'll see if I can find something to spend my credit on. So let's go.
What's up guys? So you just watched what I remembered to film when we were in Charlotte yesterday and I, I love going to Charlotte. It's so much fun. The, all the game stores up there, they always have such a, such a variety of stuff and it's always fun to go, go and see and go see what I can add to the collection. So let's just dive right in. I'll show you what I got. I know I said I didn't need to spend too much money and while I didn't spend a lot of money, it was more than I intended to spend. Uh, luckily some of that was um, with the in-store credit that I had at the Video Game World. Uh, first thing I picked up was at the Grid. I picked up a couple things for my sister, but since those aren't joining the collection, I'm not gonna show those off. Um, I, but I picked up a copy of Myst. I played this on a computer when I was a kid. And for whatever reason, our computer did not like to run it. My parents had a copy of it on the computer and I remember trying it and couldn't really get into it. Hopefully playing it on the DS might make it a little easier for me to get into. We'll see. Also at the grid, um, I picked up a copy of Hot Wheels Velocity X. I remember playing this game as a kid with my cousin Joey. I remember really liking it, but I never got a copy of my own. We played it on the PS2 back then, so I'm glad to have it on the GameCube as I really enjoy the GameCube as a console. I'm looking to hopefully build that collection sometime soon after I put a little more effort into the N64 library. And then I also picked up a copy of Jack 2 and Jack 3. I've never played the Jack and Daxter games. Um, I have the first one already. I bought it a long time ago, but never got around to really giving it a proper try. And I've been meaning to, and that's something that I want to do in the future. Maybe as one of those gameplay videos I mentioned a couple weeks back. Who knows, we'll see. But one bad thing about the grid, and I really wish I'd have paid more attention, um, they have their cases, no, not this one. They have their cases sealed off. Um, and I wound up checking the games I got from my sister, but I didn't think to check these. And the discs are there, they're in good condition, but neither of them came with the manuals. And I was kicking myself when I realized that. It made me so sad, but also uh, it's a lesson. Always check whenever you're paying any kind of price, always check to make sure you know what you're getting. Oh well, you live and you learn. At the Video Game World at the Carolina Place Mall, I actually picked up my first Game Gear game. And not just my first Game Gear game, but my first three Game Gear games. Uh, I picked up Jurassic Park. I picked up uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And then I also picked up Sonic Chaos. I'm very, very new to the Game Gear. In fact, the only reason I'm able to play it at all is because I have the analog pocket and I actually had the thought to buy the uh, the Game Gear adapter when I uh, picked up my pocket when I ordered it. So yes, I'm very, very new to the Game Gear and I'm excited to explore a library of games I've never gotten to play before. So um, if any of y'all down in the comments are Game Gear fans, let me know some of the games that I need to keep an eye out for because I'm very, very interested in exploring this library. And then the stuff I actually picked up with my credit that I got at um, up at the Huntersville Video Game World. I wanted to save it because I was looking for something special. And if you spend any time with this channel, you know I'm a big fan of the N64. What's been a goal of mine for a little while is to have a complete inbox N64. I want it in as good of condition as possible, but the thing is I want it to be properly complete. They had one at the store, but it was missing the manuals inside of it. So it was just the, the foam, the box, and the system. And that's not what I want, like if I'm gonna spend the money to have something in my collection like that, I'm going to, I want it to be fully complete and in as good a condition as possible. So that might be a convention pickup in the future, but regardless, what I actually wound up picking up was, I picked up Virtue's Last Reward on the 3DS, and then I picked up 999, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. I've been after this guy for a while. I was watching a video a while back talking about this game and I didn't get any spoilers and that's been also been years ago that I watched that video so I but I, this has been kind of on my to get list for a long time and then I know Virtue's Last Reward is the sequel to 999 and then I have to also find Zero Time Dilemma at some point in the future but I'm very very excited to get actually get to play um, this game been on my list been on my list for a while I forgot to mention when I was filming just then because it wasn't in the stack but I also picked up a copy of Math Blaster episode one on the Super Nintendo I played Math Blasters on the computer back when I was a kid and this is purely a nostalgia buy because I really liked it uh, it was fun as you know when I was like five 
So just getting to relive that a little bit when I played it here, um, that just was that just was fun, you know. But yeah, those were the pickups. I'm always looking forward to going back to the to those stores. They're always such a great time, and they're always very uh, very good to me. They're always good to me. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and keep, keep stick around. Because we're gonna keep hunting. We're gonna keep finding more more crazy stuff to add to the collection. So again. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, y'all.